Hi everybody, it's Cindy. I'm back to do an update. It is November 26th. I know this is so close to my previous video, but this is a special Christmas edition. I'm going to be doing an ornament parade for you of all of my cross-stitch ornaments. As you can see in the back of me, I have my cross-stitch ornament tree set up. I'm so excited to share this with you. I cannot believe we are in the Christmas season, holiday season, if you don't celebrate Christmas. Oh, I'm just, yes, this tree, it brings me so much joy, happiness, smiles. Uh, I think of so many people when I put up my tree. It's like old friends coming out to visit you and, um, <laughs> I'm just so excited to share it to you. I hope everybody has a blessed Christmas season or holiday season. If you don't celebrate Christmas, uh, take time to be with family and friends. And remember, the season isn't about everything you buy, but about the time that you spend with the people you love or just sending prayers and thoughts to people that you love. Oh, I'm just... Yes, <laughs> I'm overjoyed today and I'm so happy to bring this video to you. I got my red on, I got my Christmas necklace on, and um, I'm just excited to bring it to you. Now, I know this video is so close to my last video. I know people are catching up from Thanksgiving still, and uh, someday throughout the season you'll watch this video, maybe while you're putting up your Christmas ornaments yourself and decorating or maybe wrapping presents. I hope everybody has a blessed season. Uh, thank you to all of my viewers and subscribers and anybody who, who leaves a comment below. Thank you so much. Uh, you just, I cannot even put into words what this community has made of such a difference in my life this year. I have learned so much this year. So I'm 52, I'm gonna be 53 on New Year's Day and into my 53rd year, I hope to learn so much more next year. I'm excited about that. And I just wanna thank each and every one of you who do videos, cause it takes time for us to do these videos and we do it to share our love throughout this community. And until we meet again, everybody, I'm going to be connecting those videos. You have a great stitching season. Hi, everybody. It is Sunday, November 26th, and I'm putting up my Christmas tree today. And I'm going to be opening up the box and showing you all of the ornaments that will be going on the tree. So this is what I'm gonna call my Christmas ornament parade. And this is going to show all of the uh, ornaments that will be going on the tree. And these are ornaments that I have made in just the past two years. Uh, previous to that, I had lost everything. So. Um, it's exciting that I made so many ornaments this year and I do have ornaments in here that were gifts and I'll be sharing that with you. This is the box I keep them in. This other box is other Christmas stuff for the tree. And uh, you can tell I de definitely love chalk. <laughs> I gravitate towards it. So I guess as you know, the ornaments and things I've been making lately all involve chalk. So we're gonna open up the box call this my box of happiness. <laughs> so this I just received from Andrea at the craft room and I'll link her below again. I love, love, love this ornament. And she actually made this from the 2017 Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. And she also made me this piece a couple years ago after I lost everything. She sent me an ornament and I always remember that Andrea said so thank you. And she has the handmade with love. Uh, she does amazing detail and I just love these. She's got beads on the trim. Beautiful. 
Uh, these are ornaments that I made this year now. This came from, I'm pretty sure it's last year's just cross stitch ornament issue. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure if I'll remember everything, but the back. Love it. <laughs> this is another piece from the Just Cross Stitch Ornament Issues in the back. And you can go to past videos or my blog at cindyshobbies.blogspot.com and you'll find details on the ornaments if you do want to make them. There's Little Doggy. Buttercup, love him. This piece, of course, I received from Elizabeth and Bluebird Stitches. She has a YouTube channel. I love it, Elizabeth. North Pole Express. Love it. Like I said, when somebody makes you an ornament, there's no way you can't think of them. And I'm going to be doing a whole lot more of uh, making things next year and send them now. I have been doing that this year, but I want to do that more next year. And of course, my Prairie, Prairie Schooler ornaments. Back. This one is by Ink Circles. I love this one. Love it. Back. Love this series. I still didn't complete the series, but I do love these. These are really cute. And of course, the 2017 uh, Prairie School of Santa with the charm. Love it. Love him. He came out so stinking cute. Um, this one. Oh, I did this last year. Don't remember who the pattern's from. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I definitely am not going to remember all these. But uh, love it. This was also um, ink circles from the Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. I love this Prairie School of Santa. He's on the, um, the one and does sparkle, but it doesn't show up, of course, on the video. The back is just kind of Typical prairie schooler, they stand on their own. Oh, drop them. Don't, don't fall. <laughs> and this, I actually dated this one. I usually don't date too many of my ornaments. Oh, piece of fuzz on him. Hold on. Get that fuzz off. There we go. He's cute. This is definitely Leslie Kate. How cute is he? Love him. More fuzz. Lots of fuzz. I don't know where the fuzz is coming from. Fuzz is gone. Good. Prairie Schooler. Got the kitty cat. He has a bell on. Jingle, jingle. Catch a wave. Yeah, I still put some of these on the tree. I don't care. Cross stitch. It's an ornament. It's going on the tree. Got my love. I love this one. This one's really cute. This design is by Arlene Cohen. Love it. And funny, even the designers on the pieces, you think of them when you put these on the trees, too. Arlene, I think of you. Oh, this one is really pretty. This, you could see. Can you see? Hmm. Hard to see the sparkle in this, but this is really sparkly. Really cute.
someone made me this <clears throat> and I received this package when I was so sick. I do not recall who sent it. I am so sorry I don't. I usually remember each piece, but I was so sick at the time. I just, I think it's a time and a period in my life I don't want to recall. It's really pretty. I love it. Here's the other piece, really cute. Another one. This piece one is so pretty. This is from Just Cross Stitch Ornament Issue. Really cute. Carol at Stitching Dreams made me this. It's so cute. Love it, Carol. Love it. When I lost all of my things, um, one of the hardest parts was losing the ornaments that Carol made me each year because we exchanged for so many years, and she does amazing work. And that was one of the hardest things, believe it or not, was losing the ornaments that she made me because I adore them. Meticulous, beautiful work. Love them, Carol. <laughs> there we go, Winter. This is definitely Lizzie Key. Look at he's so stinking cute. The back. Get a pile on this other one. <laughs> this is another. Just cross such ornament issue. Really pretty. Fabric. Another piece of fuzz. I don't know where this fuzz is coming from. Christmas chorus. Oh, look at this snowman. He's adorable. Love the colors in this one. Love it. Gingerbread house. Cute. Gingerbread. I actually dyed this fabric after I finished it. Kind of cool. Like a tea dye finish. Gingerbread, he's on sparkle. One and two, if it doesn't pick it up on the camera. No well. Cute. Rejoice. Oh, that's so pretty. Lizzie Kate. Love the fabric on that one. Oh, he's cute. My sunflower. My sunflower Santa. Gotta have it. <laughs> this one's really pretty. Merry Christmas. It is the Christmas season. How cute is he? Love him. This is also from Carol at Stitching Dreams. Oh, so cute. Look at that. Love that piece, Carol. Love it. Beautiful. Now this one is for my daughter. I don't know why I threw it in the box, but I guess I just, when I finish the ornament, this is going to be a Christmas present. Eiffel Tower. She doesn't watch my videos, so it's okay.
prairie schooler. Piece of fuzz again. Where is this fuzz coming from? I don't know what I was doing with fuzz. There we go. So cute. Reminds me of Moo. Moo! How cute is that? So cute. So pretty. You can see the sparkles on there as I put Swarovski crystals. Another sunflower Santa, prairie schooler. Love this one. I love my sunflowers. That one I dated too. I don't date too many of them. I don't know if that's good or bad, but whatever. North Pole Express. Oh, I love this one. Love it. Oh, so cool. Another prairie schooler. Oh, he's cute. He's got Swarovski crystals in there, too. There you go. You can see them in the snowflakes. This I'm pretty sure is Plum Street Samplers. Jingle, jingle. Definitely Lizzie Kate. My friend Lee made this. He's a blogging friend. Oh, she does amazing work. Look at the detail of this place. Stitch for You by Lay, 2015. After I lost everything, she made that for me. Lee, just gorgeous. I don't know if she watches my videos, but look at this piece. It, it's gorgeous, people. It's got a bell on it and ribbons. I love this piece. Oh, gorgeousness. Gorgeousness. Oops, sorry about that. My ribbon candy ornament. I love it. Ribbon candy. Hmm. This was a gift. Pretty that is. Beautiful. And I'm pretty sure I don't know who did this for me and I'm this is when I was so sick I got this too and I don't remember. It's I'm sure it's on my blog. I'll have to go back and look, but I love it. Look at the bird. Gorgeous. The snowman, he's got his crystals in there. He's so cute. One more stitch, my little stocking. Cute. Prairie School of Santa, sunflowers. I did this, <clears throat> excuse me. 40 count over one. It's tiny, tiny, but it's so adorable. Love it. It's like seeing old friends. Yay. Somebody else made this piece for me, too. I love this piece. Dated 2015. This is when I lost everything. This was made for me also. Shenandoah. I love this piece. This piece I usually put at the top of my tree for like the star. I love it. Thank you so much for everybody who ever made me a piece. I love them. I adore them. My sister last year made me these little these little pieces.
get designs on them. Little snowman. And then, give me one moment, I'm gonna just pause it. These I have over the ha all over the house, but these are ornaments. I don't care. I put them out all year long. This is the cross with the Swarovski crystals in it. This is by Ink Circles. I think it's Ink Circles. I think. Love this. Uh, it's hard to even get it clear. But it, the Swarovski crystals in it really shine. It's beautiful. This is from Just Cross the Tournament Issue. I'm not sure what year, but I love this one, this star. I, I display this all year long. Blessings. I love this one. <laughs> love the butts. So cute. Bless our home. This I did on 40 count over one, two. I love it. Super tiny, but super cute. Love this one. Sylvia, you're going on my tree. Got this from Sylvia at Beckus Land. I love it. This will be hanging on my tree, Sylvia. Love it. Now. <clears throat> the next ornaments are homemade ornaments. These are, these hang um, by my fireplace. And this is a quilted ornament. Let's see if you could get a good picture. It has fuzz on it too. I don't know where this fuzz is coming from. Must have had something doing with it last year. But this was made by my neighbor Carol. She gave that to me last year. Super cute. This was made from my friend Gracie. She has a blog, and I'll put a link below. This is another quilted ornament. So pretty how they do these. Gorgeous. These, they hang by my fireplace. And then the last piece, this does go on my tray. Um, my friend Peggy did this punch needle bird, and it was finished, but not into an ornament. After she passed away, I finished it into an ornament. I always hang this on my tree. I think of Peggy. She did a beautiful job on it. I know, punch needle. Still unsure if I'll dive down that rabbit hole. Not sure yet. As of now, no. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is last December, um, at the beginning of December, we get really amazing sunsets and sunrises here in Tennessee. And this picture, let's see if I can get a close up. This was in my backyard. And it's hard to even get it good on camera, but it was absolutely stunning. It looked like the northern stars. And I had it made into a double sided ornament. And this I don't hang on my tree, but I hang it somewhere in my office living room area. So if you need an idea for Christmas gifts, uh, they're amazing. This is metal. And I love that picture. Now, this world, <laughs> there's my pile. <laughs> and I'm going to get decorating the tree. I hope you enjoyed the tour of all of the cross-stitch ornaments. Um, there are no words when you open these up each year. I work from home. Typically, I have this up the day after Thanksgiving, but I worked that day, Friday and Saturday, so I'm doing it today, Sunday. And this tree, I usually leave uh, well into January because I work from home, and I see it every day, and the amount of joy and happiness and I see it every day I look at them all and I'll be adding more pieces next year and I hope it I inspired someone <laughs> to
to do Christmas ornaments for their tree. I really am known for my ornaments, but I stitch all kinds of things. But I do love the Christmas ornaments. I did send some out this year. I got a couple more going out in the mail. And like I said, next year, I definitely uh, want to be gifting more so that I am in other people's homes. And oh, tis the season. This to me, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Happy stitching, everyone. Okay, everyone, I got the Christmas tree up. I'm going to bring you in for a tour uh, of the tree. This is a seven and a half foot pencil tree that I purchased at Wayfair.com. It was 50% off, free shipping. I did have a four foot tree last year, which I did give to my son. He did not have a Christmas tree. And I was very happy that I could pass that along to my son. I definitely have room in this house for probably 10 more trees, but I only want one. And I just focus on my uh, cross stitch ornament tree. And I was so happy I could pass that along to him to let him have a little four foot tree. So that all worked out. And I'm gonna bring you in for a tour. Uh, when I finished putting up the tree, it was sentimental, it was emotional. Uh, after I lost everything a couple years ago to rebuild your life, I had hundreds of ornaments, I no longer have those. And to see a tree almost full with cross stitch ornaments is just such a, a great feeling for me. And I'm so thankful for everybody who has made an ornament for my tree. Uh, there are no words to describe that. Each ornament has a special meaning to me. And I hope I inspire somebody. If you want a uh, cross stitch ornament tree, you can do it. This is only two seasons and I have almost a full tree on a seven and a half foot pencil tree. Uh, there's definitely room for a little bit more ornaments uh, next year that I'll be adding, uh, but not too many more. <laughs> uh, but there's definitely room. Uh, focus probably will be on uh, smaller pieces, but I'm going to bring you in for a tour. Now this is my fireplace here, and as you can see, I don't have a whole lot. I do have things that I'm going to be filling in later. Uh, but this piece that says garden, it has the cotton and roses and red. It was beautiful. It was 50% off. It cost me like $30. You cannot even buy all that stuff. Uh, in the in the marketplace any cheaper than that it's beautiful and I'll do a close-up of that in a video but this is the left side of the tree next to the fireplace and I'll bring it in and I'll pan up for you it really does bring lots of joys and smiles to me I work from home I see and look at this tree every day. Um, great inspiration and listen, what's gonna make you smile more than cross stitch? You know, it makes you smile. All the way up top is my peace ornament. I got my star there. I'm gonna pan down. Now this is the towards the front of the tree now. Oh yes. Gotta love it. Just a tree of happiness. I mean, that's the only way I can describe it. The only other thing on this tree that is not cross stitch are these antique glass ornaments. They are glass. They're all in like that greenish blue color. And my sister made a couple small pieces on the tree and Peggy's punch needle. Other than that, it's, it's all homemade. I don't want to add any tinsel to take away from the uh, tree or ornaments. And I do love tinsel, but I think the tree speaks for itself. And this is towards the left side of the tree that I'm panning over now. 
And this is the area I see the most because I sit at my desk over here. And as you can see, there's a little bit of room for more ornaments, but not a whole lot. Like, there really is not a whole lot of room for a whole lot more. Now, you could definitely put ribbons and bow and tinsel and everything on the trees, and I, I do like that, um, but the ornaments to sparkle and shine themselves, and uh, I like them to be the star of the tree. And the boxes I store them in, I just put under the tree. And what a delight. It's this so pretty to look at. Let me see how far back I could go if I could get the whole tree in there. It is a seven and a half foot tree. There you go. Looks awesome. It really is pretty. And I'll bring it in so you can see the top of the fireplace. I do have other pieces to add. I just haven't what there's that. I do have a couple of cross stitch things I'm working on to add over by the fireplace display and these are the polar bears I was talking about in a previous video that I purchased, and um, they're so cool. This, of course, is the Mill Hill bead kit. This I purchased for like 70% off last year at the end of the season. Chalk inspired. <laughs> Gotta love it. Uh, very pretty. And like I said, I don't have a lot on the bottom. I'm definitely going to be putting some things in that glass jar, Christmas inspired, and my brother-in-law, he made me, that says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, and uh, he made this fireplace for me, and amazing, amazing man did a great job, I so love it, every day I look at it, it's just an awesome focal piece in my home. Everybody, I hope, Everybody has a, a great Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate that, I hope you have a great holiday season, whatever you celebrate. Be kind. Reflect. We live in some crazy times. Focus only on the positive, not the negative. God is good. Merry Christmas, everyone. Mm -hmm.